How you doing YouTubers? This is Galen again. Um, still in Iowa. And on, uh, God, I can't remember the city. But I am currently at the world's largest truck stop. Let me show you. Trying to back up. Have you see the world's largest truck stop, the Iowa 80? It goes all the way down. And it's called the Iowa 80 because it's off of I-80, um, for you, those who didn't know. Let me see, is it a good, yeah, world's largest truck stop. Yeah, um, I did, I looked up before I, you know, made this video, I had to let y'all know, it has, if it was updated, it has 870 parking spots, all right? 870 parking spots. Um, well, the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna, um, I'm gonna show you the truck I had just got clean on, off my last video real quick. And I'm gonna um, give you some info on the company. Um, like I said, it's, it's a growing company. Um, pretty good and everything. This is my truck right here. 2015 Kenworth T680. This is all they drive to. So if you come, if you come to the company, this is all they have right here is uh, Kenworth. And as you see, they got all the, the chicken lights. I think it's like 18 on each side. Show you, do a walk around real quick to show you. This is the back. For those who's interested, just call this number right here. This 559-579-1279. As for Paul, and he can get you started that's all you need is about a year a year year and a half and up um and the other side is the equivalent to the other side all right this company it starts off at 37 cent a mile and after three months you get jumped up to 40. so when i heard that i was like what hold on you said how much and they said 37 cent a mile start off and um, 40 cent after three months. And I was like, oh, sign me up. Um, I'm gonna show y'all the inside real quick. Cause I, what, I'm, what I'm, I'm gonna do, I'm gonna just show y'all the truck. Then I'm gonna go inside the truck stop. I'm gonna pause it, go inside the truck stop and show y'all what, you know, the world's largest truck stop has inside. But I'm pretty sure y'all seen the, the, you know, the inside of a Kenworth. Now, one thing that's different, one thing that's different from this truck, that's usually about different from a lot of other companies, is the the it's called Nav Plus. It's it's a Kenworth screen. It's touch screen, Bluetooth, navigation, etc., etc., etc. It's loading up right now. That's the reason why I got it pointing me. But I'm gonna just show y'all the rest until it loads up. Here, Let's see if I could. I don't know if there's too much light. Bed, of course. Um, top bunk of course um, the windows and actually on these windows they're emergency exit so if I hit this button here this actually opens up and you can um, get out so it's an emergency exit same on this side um, this is an alarm clock okay so some people may say oh that's part of the APU no this is an alarm clock okay um, closet full size it actually has a mirror Full size, well not full size, but a closet. You can put some stuff up here. Put some stuff up here. Uh, refrigerator. I got uh, some waters, some ham. And on a side note, if y'all ain't had this tea, you gotta try it. It is so good. All right, got some ham. Then under here, I got some quick microwavable um, chicken and some overstuffed beef ravioli, et cetera, et cetera. All right, this does, these trucks, I'm sweating because it's like 100 degrees outside and I ain't got the air on, so if I'm sweating too much, I'm sorry. But these trucks right here, um, they have electric and um, fuel operated APUs. So depending on what truck you get, um, you'll have it. This one is electric and it only works with the, you know, the air and the um, heat. And I'm gonna tell you, the air, it, it really do bump. Like sometimes I'd be having like, Put it on low. One thing you do is just hit this button right here, turn it on, and 
APU is on. All right. Now on this side, I got my TV mounted. As you see, I got the TV mounted right here. My inverter. And then, of course, Xbox One. Um, I got I got it boxed up right now. When I'm traveling, I, I box it up. Um, storage. You know, for my cleaning supplies. You know, my smell good. Napkins and stuff like that. Storage. Storage, 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 storage. All right. The screen is on it. Now, this is the screen I was talking about. This is Nav Plus, all right? It's actually touch screen. I can actually, if you hit setup, and then you can actually hook up your Bluetooth, and just like your car radio, you can, um, see, I got my S6 already attached to it. So, all I gotta do is go to S6, connect, and then it actually plays the music from your phone. So, those who used to have an auxiliary cord, you no longer need an auxiliary cord. You just Bluetooth it, and it plays it really good. Um, and you hit the home screen, like I said, it's touch screen, but then if, if you don't want to do the touch screen, you also have, uh, you know, the buttons there, audio, setup, that was the screen I was at home. And it also has uh, Sirius radio, so if you wanted to play radio, there's Sirius radio right there. Um, I got my channels, you know, Road Dog, Sports, News, and of course Howard Stern. Um, I got that there, but it also has... US, uh, USB auxiliary if you want to use it that's an option and CD player if you still use CDs and stuff like that but that's like one of the main features um, but like I said auxiliary if you got auxiliary USB CD uh, I don't think there's no CD band if you want to change the radio and then Bluetooth right now there's nothing you also can hook up your phone to it and you actually can you actually can hook up your phone to it and you can see messages and you can actually type messages up there um, it comes with um, tools it comes with an alarm if you want to set an alarm it comes with a calculator so if you need a calculator you can do your calculator and it also comes with a calendar um, if you want to see the calendar right there um, which is pretty neat you know because I know some companies they take the screen out and put like a little single den in and stuff like that um, so that's pretty cool um, like I said, um, the thing with this company is if you want to come, I'm sorry, I should put these on. Um, if you want to come aboard, how they do it is if you're in California, they're, they're in Fresno, California, by the way. Um, they're in Fresno, California. So if you're in California, you can just go up there. And like I said, they, they start immediately. None of this four day orientation, nothing like that. Um, that's all they do. They're 100% Kenworth T680s, 2015s and above. Um, and I know I usually don't re recruit, but like I said, it's a growing company. I, I, I want to see them succeed because they're, you know, they're doing me justice. And I'm not doing it because of the bonus. Because if you think I'm doing it because of the bonus, put your name down, your number. I give you my bonuses. It's, it's a, you know, a few hundred dollars. I, I give it to you. I'm really not, you know, doing it because you know I just want to see a company succeed. You know, they're good people. Um, what else uh oh if you're like like right now i'm on the east coast i'm going to jersey i got a load of potatoes i picked up in idaho and it's going to jersey um 2000 miles uh, oh let me show you real quick before i forget all right i'm gonna show you how the miles work um how good miles they give you all right um this is their trip sheet let me see let's see okay there you go this is your trip sheet um you fill it out blah 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 anyways First trip, 1,383 miles. Second trip, I'm gonna just read it to you because it's, it's getting hot in here. First trip is 1,383 miles. My second trip was 1,077 miles. And this trip is 2,024. All that goes in one pay period. Now how that worked is, the previous week, 1,000 carried over. So now I got 1,000 that carried over from last week. That other 1,000 and now this 2,000. So that's 4,000 miles that's going on one check. At 37 cent a mile, you do the math, okay? Um, I'm pretty sure you're a genius. Um, but yeah, for so I'm here I'm here in New Jersey. So let's say you can't find your way out there or anything like that. Well, what they do is if anybody contacts, you know, well, I'm, I'm gonna say, you know what? If you're interested, um, put your, at the comment section, I guess, put your name and your phone number and I can call you or I can just give it to the guy or you can just call that number right there that was on the back of the trailer you could do that also but what happens is instead of catching a Greyhound 
from the East Coast to to uh, Fresno, they'll have me pick you up or a driver. So right now I'm on the East Coast, and if somebody want to come, it's because they saw this video. You know, somebody that saw this video want to come, it's because this video. If anybody else, another driver. But I'm dropping off in Jersey Monday. So like, let's say you live in Georgia, they'll route me down to Georgia to come get whoever, and then what they do is they get everything verified first so they'll run your license they'll check your employment make sure your license you can't have more than i think one or two tickets within the last year or so but um they'll, they'll run your license and everything and if everything is good they'll put you on the insurance right then and there because like i said the small companies can do something that you know bigger companies can't and i'll pick you up and then what we can do is we can team down and you'll actually start getting paid from where i pick you up from home or from where another driver picked you up from home so let's say you know i go to fresno and you can you see this video and you contact me then then what you would do is they'll say all right hey we have a driver you can rather come down there yourself you know and they, and they reimburse you but they reimburse you is after 90 days so i'm gonna just give you a heads up on that um but if not, if let's say a truck is around, they can say, hey, I got a truck in that area and they can pick you up and y'all team back. But like I said, they run, they make sure everything is good. The insurance say, okay, this person is good. And then, um, and then you can, um, come down. So like I said, uh, good company, good people, small. Um, I don't think even over 20 trucks yet. Um, and it's one of those places where it's, you're like an owner operator. You don't switch trailers. You don't switch trucks. It's assigned trucks. Um, the trailer, like I've had this trailer since I started. All right, I've been changing the lights. I've, you know, I, I go to that loves truck stop to make sure the the air is good on all because it's kind of hard to get the air hose, you know, and everything. You know, just it's just too much. So I just go to the loves, pay my little five dollars, ten dollars, and get all the tire pressures checked, and they also check your brakes. And everything make sure everything else is good um like i said uh call that that number um again on uh, that 555 how about that 555 sorry <laughs> that 559 number you can just call them um ask for paul um and just tell them g you know because they could they, you know just tell them g or galen you know what's the name but if you're like interested like as asap if you're interested asap um just put your name at the bottom and then put your phone number and I can give it to him. He can give you a call. Or, you know, if you want to, you know, talk to me, I, I give you a call and stuff like that. And we can work it out. Like I said, I, uh, good truck. I don't know how they did it, but this truck is super quiet in this. If you drive a 680, you know how quiet this cab gets. And it's it's just really quiet. Um, they don't mind you, you know, they, you take the truck home also. So when you're ready to go home, you just let them know, hey, I'm ready to go home. You go home, they route you home. You just gotta find somewhere to park the truck. Um, you know, and, and they it's a lot of responsibility to the driver. It makes you feel kind of like the owner operator. Um, they're also W9, which means that they don't take taxes out. That means you gotta hold aside a certain percentage each month, which I, I do about $150, $200 a check. Put it in your savings account, and then at the end of the year, you turn it in and you pay your taxes right there. So. Um, they're W9. They don't take taxes out stuff like that um, I'm just trying to think of anything else that I could um, Oh the trucks do come with a CB also uh, Mines the last driver got angry I guess and you know whatever uh, Broke it or something like that. He got angry at a driver or oh, a car and broke it Well, I don't use CBs for real, but every truck does come with a CB and every truck does come with an APU um you can't idle the trucks it's five minutes just like some of the other companies five minutes is off but like i said you got your apu like it's on now and it's, that's the reason why my sweat is gone because the cab is kind of cooling off right now um i'm trying to think what else uh oh govern at 68 miles an hour 65 paddle 68 cruise so that means you know you hit the cruise button you hit on set and then you hit um accelerate it goes up to 68 miles an hour i'm gonna tell you these are probably the best trucks I've had climb a mountain and you know I don't have Volvos uh, the 700 the the, the Pete's I don't had uh, freight liners I don't had a little bit of everything these can go up a, a six seven percent grade at 78,000 at 35 miles an hour 30 miles an hour so the, it doesn't die out soon as you hit the hill I, I can say that um, 
you know i haven't said that a lot about a lot of trucks but this truck you know oh and also oh by the way 13 speed if you don't where is that 13 speed so 13 speed is you know one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve and then low over here is 13. so if i don't know if i showed you okay here it is yeah 13 speed all right so all right so if you you know you can know how to drive a 13 speed you know um go ahead if not you know learn before you um you know send the the request and stuff like that but like i said they get you rolling they get the ball rolling just like that you know um it's, it's no um dibble dabble it's you you send your license over a text message or email the front and back and right then and there they they ask you um there's some paperwork you fill out when you get in there's some paperwork w9 paperwork and then it's a little contract that says you know what i'm not going to take this truck and drive another load for anybody else I'm not gonna crash this truck. I'm not gonna steal the truck. I'm gonna use it for BP logistics purposes. Um, if you want to see some other uh, pictures of their trucks, just Facebook uh, BP Logistics. Um, they got like a, a few other, you know, with the different trailers and stuff like that that they have. Um, outside of that, like I said, I've been here for a month. Like I said, I did not want to get the truck and show y'all the video and it don't work out, you know. Um, I got the truck. I ran for a complete month before I made this video to 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 be able to t give a testimony that it's a it's a good company. They keep you running. Um, it's not like some other companies where you know um, you deliver, then they look for a load. You know, if you go somewhere, they usually have a load ready for you already over there, or they send you somewhere where they know they can get you something coming back. Um, but whenever you want to go home, that's the biggest thing about these companies. They gotta get us home truck drivers you have a voice the dispatchers work for you you don't work for the dispatchers because you got to remember the company can't go with just a dispatcher but the company can't go without a dispatcher so remember that the truck is more important than the dispatcher we're a team but a lot of dispatchers think that because their 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 label is manager you know fleet manager or stuff like that you know no it's just manage you know make sure you get on time and stuff like that but as far as running and getting you home they gotta get you home all right um it's not perfect all the time but they gotta get us home all right and voice your opinion um you do have one but other than that um i'm gonna go ahead because it's a 17 minute video i don't want to make a 20 minute video take forever to unload so i'm gonna stop this video then i'm gonna go inside the world's largest truck stop and i'm gonna show y'all the things that are inside so you know because i know some people don't even go this high up so the truck drivers that like stand on the 10 up to the 40 and stuff like that you can you can see this video and stuff like that um but other than that like i said ask questions about the company if you're ready to start asap um go ahead let me know i deliver monday um i deliver monday and if you're on the East Coast or anywhere in between, just send where you're located and I can talk to them. And maybe, you know, if they run everything through and you're good, I could just pick you up, go back to the yard, drop you off. You get your, your Kenworth also. All right. Um, other than that, um, they don't have a lot of advertising. That's the only reason why I did this video. Also, I think they got like a one Craigslist ad that's like two months old. I don't know. I don't even know how I ran across it. But um so I'm just trying to help them out and stuff like that. They don't, they have a website, but it's, you can't even tell if it's a trucking company or nothing like that. But outside of that, y'all be blessed. Let me go in here. Oh, I'm going to get me a water first because it's hot. Go get me a water. I'm going to go inside. I'm going to make a video inside and I'm going to upload that separate. All right. So you're going to have three videos in one day for me. Just making up because I haven't made no videos in a while. So be blessed out there. Be safe. And I'll talk to you later.